Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, The Cycle of Inherited Psychological Wounds and Ignorance. My website, which comes from 31 years of being a professional family therapist, is eight self-improvement lessons. Lesson six out of the eight is about effective parenting. My observation over my years as a therapist and uh, as an observer on the planet for seven decades is that many, many parents don't know some important needs that their kids need filling. This video acknowledges the epidemic of psychological and legal divorce in the United States in recent years and I want to outline for you my observation about what does parental divorce cause in their minor kids, including teens, certainly adult kids too, but I want to focus on minor kids right now. In addition to kids' normal developmental needs, incidentally see my video that summarizes some unusual needs that many people are unaware of, in addition to those needs, Typical kids of divorce, parental divorce, have a group of adjustment needs they need informed, empathic adult help with. In my observation, many adults, though they love their kids and grandkids, they are not aware of these special adjustment needs in themselves and their kids. So I want to raise your awareness of some of the most important adjustment needs that kids of divorce need help with. The very first adjustment need, a big one, is the need to grieve a whole web of losses that their parents' divorce causes. Many times these losses are beyond articulation. Kids can't say, gee, I've lost my security. I've lost my identity. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know who our family is. They lose optimism. They lose hope. So kids need to grieve a number of minor to major losses, broken bonds. Do not think that grieving is confined only to death. There's much more that we lose throughout our lives. Lesson three in my website gives a great deal more insight and information about the complex, vital process we all need to know about called good grief. So kids have to grieve a number of things, tangible and invisible, because their parents divorced. Kids typically, minor kids, need to regain their trust and their hope uh, that about many things. Um, security and hope about, well, I'm safe, even if my parents have divorced. My parents are safe. They're each okay. My siblings are okay. My grandparents are okay. Um, basically, life is safe, and there's hope for the future, and we're all okay, despite the fact that my parents can't get along and they fight all the time. That's a major adjustment task that can take many years. Uh, without adult help, many times kids don't achieve that, don't fill that need. Do you know any such kids? Another thing that typical kids need is to clarify their own identity after their parents' divorce. Like, well, who am I? Am I a normal kid? Am I a weird kid? Are my parents crazy? Are my parents bad? Am I bad? Did I cause my parents' divorce? Who am I? Am I, am I all right? They need time to re-clarify and reaffirm, this is who I am despite my parents' inability to live together. Kids also need, along with their adults, to re-clarify and reaffirm their family identity. Who is our family now? Who are we? This is especially true 
if one or both of their biological parents picks a new mate and forms a step family. That's part B of this adjustment need is now who are we? And I'm getting ahead of myself. So they need to adjust and stabilize their identities with empathic adult help. Many kids of divorce need to find a way without help to define and protect their boundaries in case their divorced parents are too needy. Some parents who are lonely and isolated and are typically psychologically wounded start to use a custodial or a visiting child as a surrogate partner. They confide in the child things that burden the child, that, that they're adult issues, children can't understand, children can't help with, Adults vent to the children and burden the children unintentionally with adult affairs. Kids need to learn to say somehow, Mom, Dad, that's your problem. I can't handle it. I don't know what to do. Please don't tell me about this. How many kids do you know have the wisdom and the strength to do that? Another instance of this need is when one of their parents starts to use a child as a spy or a weapon against their former mate. Very complex situation. It stresses everybody in the family, causes loyalty conflicts, sometimes involves legal, the legal system. So kids need to learn to say, it's okay if I say to my parent who's using me as a spy or as a weapon, stop, I won't do this anymore. How many children do you know even older teens who have the wisdom and the self-awareness to do that. It's a real challenge. Um, everybody in a divorcing family, especially kids, needs to learn, negotiate, and stabilize new routines and new rituals. Everything from uh, eating to holidays to visitation to uh, school conferences, school sporting events, everybody has to adjust not only their routines, sometimes their living space. Well, my parents got divorced, we moved to a new house, and now I have to room with my brother. So there are many, many minor to major adjustments and routines that kids and adults must adapt to. Um, this takes time as in years, not weeks. Eventually, what's common in America between roughly four to seven years after parents split up, one or both parents can start to date a new partner. That causes a welter of confusions and reactions in typical kids of divorce. They can feel relieved, they can feel happy for their parent, they can feel anxious, what does this mean? They can feel confused. Does this mean my parents going to abandon me? Uh, if the new partner has kids, divorced kids need to say, well, wait a minute, uh, how do I rank now? My parent is suddenly making friends with his or her kids. Suddenly I was, I was the only child, now I'm one of four children. What does this mean to me? Kids need a lot of time and guidance and how to sort out the complicated questions that arise and the feelings that arise when one of their biological parents starts to date a new partner seriously. This adjustment, the set of adjustment tasks needs to get done all over again if their parent recommits and or moves in with or has a new adult move in with them cohabiting. That causes a whole new wave of values conflicts, loyalty conflicts, membership conflicts. If a child has been taught how to problem solve, that's less of a problem than the typical situation where their adults did not know how to problem solve. One reason they got divorced. So this is stressful for everybody and the parental stress stresses the kids. So it's a kaleidoscope. 
as kids are adapting to all the things I just quickly outlined, they also need, for their own sake, uh, to stay focused on their progress at school, their progress on learning how to become socially uh, adept, learn other life skills, and progress on their many other developmental needs, all at once. As you see, the plates of typical minor kids and kids and teens whose parents divorce, their plates are full. They have a lot of losses to grieve, changes to master. They need empathic, patient, adult guidance and help. Many kids don't get that, which enhances their psychological wounds and creates problems later in their lives. So if you are thinking of divorce and you're a parent, or you are divorcing and or you're a divorced parent in a step family, I invite you and your other family adults, make it a point to become aware what are the developmental needs that each of your minor kids is trying to master and what are the many adjustment needs. Each kid has a unique mix of developmental and adjustment needs, but the key is they need informed, aware adult help to be the best you can be at doing this difficult challenge. You need, you the adult, you the parent, and any new partner, and your, your own parents, and aunts and uncles, and supporters. You all need to have your true selves running your life. If you don't know what that means, you may be guided without knowing it by a false self. That will amplify every problem in your life and your kids' lives. So I urge you, study lesson one for all your sakes and learn to free your true self so that you can be the most effective parent you can be through knowledge and awareness and love and patience. You've got a lot of work to do. Study lessons one through six or one through seven if you're a step family and see the related videos here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.